Previously, I showed you eight methods to make your car harder to steal. One of the methods I focused on was relay bypass. And one of the relay bypass you can buy is directly from 4122.com. I bought this relay for my Ionic 5, and sadly, it does not work. When I opened the package, this is what I got. This part and this part right here is 3D printed, and it's not a great job at all. And I'll tell you why later. I don't know why the company made things more complicated. Maybe they're trying to convince you that everything you bought was worth the $100. In actuality, it's probably worth like maybe 10 bucks. Now, before we actually deploy this in the Hyundai Ionic 5, we have to test it out first. This is the bypass relay. You're supposed to replace the company relay with this drop-in relay. In order to make sure that this relay actually works, apply 12 volt positive right here, and the negative or the ground goes into this wire right here. Plug the DC power supply to the wall to give it power. On the other side, this is the kill switch right here that you're supposed to install the switch. When you press these two wires right here, you can hear the relay click, click, click. If you disconnect the wire, then it will de-click, if that makes any sense. So that's how you know if this relay is actually working or not, whether it's clicking or not clicking. This is a close-up shot of the uh, whole setup. Here you can see the 12 volts being applied. This is negative and this is positive once again. If you have a multimeter laying around, go ahead and jump to the continuity function. When these two wires are connected, then these two contacts will pass the continuity test. And you should hear a beep like that. Within this box, it's just nonsense. I don't know why it's there in the first place. Maybe it's nice to have something to mount it to the frame or something because there's a hole right here, but it's absolutely not needed. I'll show you why later on. Here's a comparison of the factory relay. You can see the dimensions right here. It is 22.23 from here to here, and 14.7 from here to here. These are millimeters, by the way. And the 3D printed part is much bigger. That's why it could not fit into the Hyundai Ionic 5. And here's the relay bypass from the company. It's much longer and wider as well. I know these are only millimeters apart, but obviously it affects, and I'll show you why right here. Here's one of the relay position. As you can see, once you depress the relay in, there is absolutely no room for wiggling whatsoever. So, so when you saw the black relay being two millimeters apart, that's way too many millimeters apart. There's no way it can fit into this slot right here. It's just impossible. Oh, by the way, if you're curious, this thing is for uh, 12 volt battery monitoring that I'll be doing for the next video. But for now, we're just going to focus on the relay. Here's another angle to give you an idea of how tight the spacing is from here to here. Absolutely no wiggle room whatsoever. Just for fun, we're going to rip the Hyundai relay apart and see what's inside. Here, you can see the authentic one versus the DIY one. Now, before we make our own relay kill switch, we have to understand how a relay works. Usually, a car relay has only four pins, one, two, three, four. If 12 volts DC is supplied from three to four, then the connection between pin one and two will connect, and you will hear a click sound. If you look at a relay and you have absolutely no idea which one is 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, and which one you apply the 12 volts DC power to, you can play around and it doesn't matter. It won't fry the relay or, or anything like that. So go ahead and play around with the 12 volts yourself using a 12 volt DC power supply. Now that you understand how a relay works, let's modify it so that you can add a kill switch to it. Alright, so here's the $5 relay that the company bought, and then they ripped the cover apart. They make it and charge it for $100. I want to show you how to do it yourself for like just two minutes of your time. When you buy the relay, there's going to be a cover. The cover is extremely thin. It's about maybe less than a millimeter. It snaps into position at the width, so don't mess around with the length. It's the width right here and on the opposite side as well. So remove it by using a sharp knife and lifting the width apart and then pull it out. It should pull out easily. Next, find the two pins that I mentioned earlier. The two pins are 12 volts positive and then ground. Here, you can see that the ground has been Dremel off. He basically solder a black wire onto this ground right here. With this wire, you can add a switch. After you solder a wire onto this ground pin right here, Go ahead and connect it to a switch. Then, finally, connect another wire from this wire of the switch 
to ground or to the frame of the car, anywhere to the frame of the car. It's as easy as that. Once again, this is what's included when you buy the kit from 4122. I don't know why there's so much wire and why he made this whole thing so overly complicated. This is the switch that's included in the package. I didn't use this switch because it sticks out like a sore thumb. For my setup, I use an all black kit, which is extremely hard to find. This is another angle of the kit. Here you can clearly see that the ground has been cut and another wire has been soldered instead. All right, hopefully this video helps you understand how it really works, how you can make your own to make your car much harder to steal. Or if you don't want to make your own, you can certainly buy one and hope that it works for your car. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.